So 2023 was a great year in terms of fitness for myself and for a lot of people that I know. It was my year of endurance. That's what I called it because I ran my first marathon. In fact, I ran for the first time ever that year, last year. And uh, yeah, it was crazy going from like zero to a 5K to just deciding I wanted to do a marathon, uh, which was part of an old bucket list idea that I had. And uh, yeah, we did that. So now that that's over, it's like, what is this year? What do we have in store this year? And for me, you know, there, there are five pillars of longevity in terms of fitness, at least in what I teach. And so those are muscular strength, muscular endurance, muscularity, and then cardio speed and cardiovascular endurance. So I'm sure there's other ones. So usually I would say that just there's six because there's many other aspects of fitness than probably just those, but those happen to be the ones that I know for a fact really impact your longevity and your health. So those are really big on my list this year. And so this year is kind of the year of fitness longevity training for me. And so for those, I have some big goals. So the one of the biggest and most notable ones is I want to be able to bench press 405 for the first time ever. I've done 395 before uh, and we ran out of weight. This was at my house at the Ricker Fit Gym. And uh, yeah, we've had 395 pounds on. Got it pretty convincingly. So I think I could have got 405, but I've never actually done it. So this year I would love to do that. And so I tried maxing for the first time since running a marathon. And let me tell you, it definitely affected my strength. So this is how it went. We're gonna use the bench press for this. Uh, I've been a lot higher on the bench in my day today. I'm just gonna aim for about 250 or so. And uh, that's why we're doing this. We're gonna hopefully bump it up quite a bit over the next year. So we're starting with a warm up right here. We're gonna go with a little bit of just the barbell. So now we'll put on 135. Okay, so we have 135 on. Since we're aiming for mid twos, we're gonna just do this for about five reps. Okay, that feels pretty solid. I'm gonna go into 185 for probably two reps or so. All right, we got 185 on. It's been about a minute and a half or two. We're gonna go for two reps right here. Pretty solid. So we'll go 225 now, and we'll do that for one rep, and then we'll max at 250. If that feels good, I'll go up to 275. Last warm up, 225, one rep. Okay, that felt good. I'm gonna go straight into 250 for the first max. All right, first max, decided to go 260 instead of 250. All right, we got it. We'll try one more after that. That's pretty difficult, but I think we got another one in the tank. So quick note in between maxes, I'm going 275. I think my actual max is probably around 265, 270, because that one looked clean, but it wasn't super smooth. And for me, if it gets just a little unsmooth, it drops off pretty fast. So 275 might be just about five pounds above it, but I'm still gonna give it a shot. But quick note, I don't have a spotter because I'm in a cage, which is a lot more safe than having a spotter, in my opinion. Uh, Cause you could, if you don't get it, you'll just set it down on the rack and just crawl it from under it. And you don't have to worry about hurting yourself or your spotter or anything like that. That's why I'm doing it without a spotter. So yep, gotta rest about another three or four minutes and then we'll get to it. Well, I got it. Holy crap. Nice. I was hoping for 250 today. Got 275, so I'm a little stronger than I thought. I think I'm gonna call it there. Might be able to get 280, honestly, but we'll call it 275. Yeah, 275 was better than I thought. I was hoping for 250 because I'd kind of maxed out uh, before the marathon and couldn't even get 250. So being able to get 275 felt really good, but it's still 120, 30, 130 pounds off of my goal. So we got a long way to go. Um, normally that wouldn't really be obtainable for most people in less than a year. And it may not be for me either. I realize that. And so if, if I don't get it, that's totally fine. But as long as I'm on my way, maybe the next year or whatever, but because your muscles have muscle memory or they create multiple nuclei in those muscle cells, it can kind of help you get back to where you've been a little bit quicker. So that's why 405 is a big goal of mine this year. In terms of muscular endurance, here's how I performed on the pull-ups. This is my muscular endurance test. So we're going to do this and we're going to do wide grip pull-ups overhand. Um, I'm chalking up a little bit because this bar is really slippery. I'm gonna do two sets actually, two max sets. The first is gonna be no Versa grips, and then I'm gonna use them for the second one and see if it makes a huge difference. So here we go. I'm aiming for 10, but I'm pretty weak right now with that marathon and everything. So I'm guessing I'll probably get like five, but we wanna go wide all the way down, all the way up, 10 over the bar. So wish me luck, here we go. Also, it's December 26th, 2023.
Okay, we'll count that. That was nine, so not too bad. Not too bad, we'll try one more set with first grips. Nine, trying to get up to 25. I'll see how it goes. So now we're doing it with verse grips. Fun fact, this is actually my first time ever trying them. I tested them out a little bit earlier with some dumbbells. Been trying them on here. Let's see how this goes right here. I gave myself probably seven, eight minutes to rest. All right, we'll take it, that was 10. Kind of rested at the bottom, but I sped through the first two. We'll just say, really it was about nine, to be honest, but 10 maybe. So about 15 to 16 more to gain over the next year. So wish me luck. Yeah, so you can see 10 pull-ups, well, nine to 10. Um, so not too bad, but I'd love to get up to 25. That's my goal for this year. I've never really been that good at pull-ups. Uh, I've been really good at push-ups, but never pull-ups. So that's why I'm choosing those for my muscular endurance test. 25 is the goal in a row wide grip overhand all the way down all the way up and then in terms of the cardio aspect of my life i really want to increase my speed now i say speed kind of loosely because i'm not doing any sprints or anything like that i'm not going to be going all out but i do really want to get faster at my one mile time now my fastest time ever is a 609 i did that in high school i think i only trained like three weeks for that i was just an overall good running shape because of football and track and stuff like that but i'd never done long distance before so one mile was very long for me back then and even when i started running again last year my first run on january 2nd was like an 11 30 pace or something like that it was very slow for me so i tested in the one mile run again and here's how it went okay we're out here at my old high school track i'm about to test my mile out so hopefully i'm going for somewhere in the mid sevens last time i did it was 728 so somewhere around there it's been a while since i've ran uh after the marathon so this is actually my first time running after but it is uh, the 28th of December, 2023. So this is the starting point. Let's see how it goes. Time for a warm up, and then we'll get it. Just finished up, got a 7.10 pace, which is 20 seconds faster than what I was thinking. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, my brother was there to pace me the whole way. He was just ahead of me the whole time. So that was awesome. Good to have him here. That helped with the pacing. So yeah, 710, not bad. Still gotta shave off a minute and 10 seconds for my goal, or 11 seconds, I guess. But uh, yeah, we're on our way. When I started my first mile this year, January 2nd, I ran it in like something like 1113. So shaving off four minutes already is, is awesome. Of course, those are probably like newbie gains because I haven't ran forever and forever. So yeah, a big improvement. Four minutes and 20 seconds faster than my mile time that I started last year with. Not bad at all. So now I'd like to cut that down by a minute and 11 seconds. Next up is muscularity. And there's a lot of different ways I can test this, but honestly, just the way I'm testing it is kind of like a, a bro -y kind of thing. It's more of a, I want to look more aesthetically pleasing in some sense. And so for me, I need to work on widening my shoulders. I'm pretty thick already with my chest and stuff, but I'm not super wide. So I measure those and here's how that went so we are gonna get shoulder width measurement because that's one of my other New Year's resolutions or one of my goals for 2024 is to increase my shoulder width first of all this isn't gonna be super accurate but I assume if I stay consistent and do this like this both times uh, it could be good so first things first I'm gonna get at the highest part of my shoulders Does it look like it's at the highest part of my, the best part of my shoulder okay it's confirmed by Leilani and I'm gonna be relaxed for this first one and we are looking Looking at relaxed, 47 inches. Now I'm gonna go puffed out, a week 48. And then I'm gonna go straight across to puffed out, straight across. Looks like it's about 21, 21, about 21 inches. It's probably not the most accurate way to measure shoulder width, but it's the best I got right now. So I assume if I keep doing that on my updates and my goals and stuff in a year, I'd measure the exact same way. Hopefully it'll be a little bit bigger that way, a little bit wider. So that's the goal. 
Okay, we just confirmed with Leilani measuring my shoulders. All those numbers are the same, except the flexed instead of a week 48, we got 48 and a half. So, and that was a pretty strong one, I gotta say. So we'll just, we'll average out and just say about 48 or so. I'm not sure exactly if those measurements are gonna be super accurate or not, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, I just wanna get a little bit wider there. And then the last thing is cardio endurance. I thought about doing another marathon in a certain amount of time, but I'm just not sure about actually running another marathon again. So what I've chosen is a 5K in under under 20 minutes. Now my best time right now, I'm not sure the exact time, but I think it was like 25 minutes and like 22 seconds or something like that. So not bad. Definitely better than where I started, but I think I can knock off a little over five minutes on that time. That's gonna be one of the harder ones as well. So yeah, I know I don't post too much on this channel. I just wanted to keep you guys updated on what's going on in my own fitness life. If you'd like to see updates, feel free to follow me on my Rick or Fit Instagram account. And if you'd like to see more long form updates like what I'm doing here, then let me know in the comments down below. Regardless, this is more of a personal thing for myself to keep track of my own fitness journey. And so I don't know how much of this I'll be posting, but if you guys enjoy it and stuff, I might share a little bit more. And if you haven't specific questions about what my training looks like and how I'm gonna hopefully achieve these goals and stuff, feel free to let me know in the comments as well and I'll try to get back to every single one of those.